Hi there, it's me again, your Lavanya. We are continuing our discussion on verse number 44. Poi irunda sindai pori ilar podamam me irandum kanar miha. Today's verse is a beautiful verse and it's actually a lesson for us as well. Sometimes we ask a question. Is there someone called as God? Is there someone called as Guru Nadar? Who is a Guru? And what capacity does he have to be a Guru? You know, we just go and ask these kind of stupid questions. And we don't know that those are the stupid questions. That's the unfortunate truth. Because we don't have that kind of a maturity. And in today's verse, Guru is giving a beautiful explanation. He says, you know what? Certain people... Uh, certain people are filled with arnavam, which is ignorance. Certain people are filled with what we call it as n n uh, lack of jnana, lack of knowledge, lack of intellect. I'm not talking about the bookish, lang uh, bookish uh, knowledge here. Bookish knowledge is different. But if we have, if we have understood all the concepts, theoretically, it doesn't, it doesn't really help in our spiritual journey. What is more important is pivot to the next level. How are we pivoting to the next level? What is that that is helping us in pivoting to the next level? That is where we need a guru. And who is a guru? Guru is someone who is, the, who is in the form, is taking a form to just make sure that we are elevating ourselves. But he is none other than the grace Lord Shiva. Now imagine a situation when we are filled with ignorance we are filled with anyanam, which is, you know, lack of knowledge, lack of intellect. We will not even realize there's a presence of God. We will never even realize there is a presence of Almighty. And obviously, we will not even, when we don't even realize about the Almighty, do you think we will have the knowledge to understand and uh, relate with, uh, with, with, a, with a guru? Obviously, no. So if we want to relate with a guru, if we want to relate with Lord Shiva, what is needed is very simple. We need to have the knowledge. And when you have the knowledge, obviously the concept of Arnavam will start suppressing. It will start uh, to suppress by its own self. Once we, that starts happening, that is when a guru will appear. That is when the real, the real, real, real birthday of every soul is. Because the, the day we get the initiation, that is what we call it as our birthday. So, what happens in this particular verse is he says, our guru says, someone who is not having the clarity will not understand Lord Shiva. He will not understand the grace. He will not understand the guru concept also lovely wonderful verse i'll come back again with the next verse very soon until then bye bye